guys you know this is this is the most emotional episode of nigerian idol season seven that i have ever watched and i've been crying <laughs> to be very frank with you i've been crying i've been trying so hard to catch my breath i've been trying so hard to get my emotions in check so that i can film this video and you know give my analysis as usual but it's so hard it's so difficult guys i've just been crying i don't know how it was for you yesterday but if you watched the show last night please go ahead let me know how you felt in the comment section i i don't want to believe that i'm the only one that has been crying you know has been feeling this way guys oh my god my mood is so off and listen i want to also apologize for not giving out my review last night as you can see i am not in my apartment i'm not in my usual recording space yes i i took a break for a bit um but i'm trying to still pump out videos from wherever i am and i couldn't catch up with the show last night but i was able to catch up with the show this morning and guys it's been a roller coaster an emotional roller coaster i have been just in crying my eyes out and i'm wondering like why <laughs> guys. listen i understand fate's eviction i mean i saw it coming i knew fate was not going to make it to top four i knew she was not going to win the season of nigerian idols i mean let's be honest with ourselves i knew that faith was going to go home yes because for me it felt like she was not just ready for this season of nigerian idols but it told her guys it told her and i think this is the part where i need to say this if you are a supporter of any of these contestants it's not enough to just be a fan a fan that does not vote if you believe strongly in the voting process yes since the organizers of the show say that it is up to the fans it is in the hands of the fans the viewers to save or evict a contestant then it's not enough to just be a fan you need to vote this is the top four one person is definitely going home this new week and then we'll have the top three before um, the winner is announced so if you believe strongly in the voting system if you have that one person in your mind that you want to emerge the winner of this season of nigerian idols then trust me you definitely need to vote but not to dwell too much on the evictions guys i want to commend the top six contestants for a mind-blowing opening performance that performance was nothing short of insane it was wonderful it was amazing guys i literally had to replay that performance twice to enjoy it double tops guys it was simply mind-blowing these you see you see this is the part again where i have to give kudos to the organizers of the show they've really worked on refining these contestants they came in in their own unique ways but now when they perform as one unit what i hear is one voice and then in that one voice you hear the unique difference that they all come with then put together it creates a masterpiece i want to give accolades to their voice coach their their choreography and um, coordinator in fact the entire team of nigerian idols this season they all came with their a game they came prepared i mean guys every time i watch every season of nigerian idols this season i am seeing professionalism everywhere i'm seeing excellence everywhere and it goes to show that these people they are working over time to put up a good show and frankly speaking for the top six i don't think it's going to be a bad idea if we see them coming together once again or even more often even after the show ends to put up such performances guys it would be amazing i am personally looking forward to a concert from all of them because these people they have overnight okay maybe not overnight but they have over time become professionals and i would love to be blessed by their talent and so moving on to the theme of last night's performance yes the contestants were to make do with improvise on any nigerian song of their choice and improvisation was exactly what they did they did it all to perfection now starting with progress progress performed johnny drills wait for me guys it was when progress was performing that my emotions started getting triggered to be very frank with you guys i was so emotional but i wasn't crying yet yes i was very very emotional and the reason for that was 
It was a perfect and excellent execution of that song. His rendition of that song was so gripping. Yes, his rendition of that song was so professionally done. In progress, I was seeing another John Legend. I was also seeing progress as a personality, a music personality, and I was also seeing Johnny Drill. Progress killed that performance. His breath control, the way he was sustaining his, his tones, his keys, his notes, guys, it was so professionally executed. I was amazed. I was wowed. His pitch, come on. Come on, guys, listen. Progress's performance last night was an excellent and perfect makeup for last week's performance. Remember, we complained that last week we did not really feel his performance like that because we're all expecting much from him. We're expecting a lot from him because he had actually raised the bar. He had actually set the pace for excellence on that stage. So last night's performance, guys, he made up for it. I have no wrongs whatsoever. I have nothing to fault progress's performance he killed it he did great and then moving on to the next performance of the night we had jordan jordan performed airplane mode by fireboy dml first off the moment jordan started singing guys hey god i was so excited i was excited i was literally singing along with him like an excited child that had been giving candy why was i excited i mean isn't it obvious dude did not perform another bonner boy song hey guys I said for that thank you thank you for delivering jordan <laughs> from the clutches of wanting to sing his idol songs because it would have been a disaster no it would have been a third disaster because the first two times he performed Bonaboy boy songs nah they were disasters so i was literally praying and hoping that god this guy will not come and give us another Bonaboy boy rendition we do not want it we don't want it again but thankfully he killed his performance. It was beautifully executed. His vocal range, his vocal dexterity, it was simply amazing. His pitch, nah, his pitch was simply amazing. He delivered that song well. I loved the fact that he improvised. He, he sang that song in his own unique way without rubbing away, you know, the originality of the song. It was simply amazing. His stage presence got me speechless. That boy owned that stage. He controlled the stage. He utilized the stage in a very, very professional manner. Yes, and there was another thing I also noticed. I've always noticed it anyways, but last night it was very, very conspicuous, very, very evident. Jordan has a very, very rich tone, a very rich sound. Yes, very, very rich. And I am hoping that he's going to build up on that. Yes, to become the best version of himself. So moving on, the next performance we had was from Zadok, aka Zaddy. So Zadok performed The Vow by Timmy Dacolo. And whilst he was performing that song, the first two things that came to my mind was number one, Dear Nigerian Idol Organizers, see, please do me a favor. After the show ends, you see that microphone stand, eh? Please pack it inside a box, eh? And give it to Zadok. Let him take it home. Because you see that guy? Number one, he is the king of that stage. Yes, talking about the king of performances, Zadok is the king of entertainment, the king of performances on that stage. And number two, I don't understand the kind of romance relationship that this guy has with that microphone stand because every time he's performing, the romance he's giving to that mic. Yeah, yeah, I'm wondering like now, wow, what the hell is going on? But listen, guys, his performance last night was simply amazing. And then the second thing I was going to talk about, it seems as though Timmy Zakolo is busy in the studio, eh, creating songs while Zadok is out here, eh, performing those songs and giving us excellent renditions of that song. I mean, guys, it's as if Timmy Dacolo and Zadok, they have this kind of vocal connection that when Zadok is singing Timmy's song, you are literally thinking that that song belongs to Zadok. And it goes to show you the vocal versatility, the vocal dexterity that this guy possesses. He's good. He, no, he's not just good. He's actually an excellent singer and an excellent performer. Another thing that really strikes me about Zadok's voice is the way his voice is able to interpret the meaning and the message of any song that he handles. I mean, this dude gave us four freaking modulations. Eh? Who be your daddy? Hey! 
Hey, this guy gave us four modulations. No be beans. It's not easy to do modulations like that in songs. And they were all smooth modulations perfectly executed remember last week i mentioned that i felt like the first modulation it was going to do or was it the first pitch or whatever that it was not really smooth it did not have a smooth start yes but it had a smooth landing guess what this guy made up for it last night four freaking modulations perfectly executed and delivered guys i was amazed it was a perfect song choice come on his stage presence, his connection with the audience. He was singing to the audience as though he was proposing to his woman. Guys, that is what we call professionalism at its peak. And lastly for Zadok, I must confess that that was an excellent comeback from last week's performance. For me, last week's performance was actually flawed, yes. I felt like he was shouting, I felt like he was stressed out, I felt like he was trying to overcompensate for the boring performances that his um, fellow um, contestants had actually delivered before he had mounted the stage to perform. And so this week, no pressure, just simply just simply professionalism and excellence you know he was just delivering guys and i enjoyed every bit of it now moving on to the last but not the least top four contestant that performed i'm talking about banty now as you all know every week i have a favorite performance and for last night's performances my fave was from banty banty performed bibanke by asha and oh my god oh my god banty sank to my soul Yes, there was this connection that I had between myself and Banti and the song that she was delivering. Guys, it was electrifying. I shed a tear or two. It got me really emotional. Yes, remember, Progress's performance triggered my emotions. Banti's performance got me, you know, shedding a tear or two. Guys, it was perfectly executed. I saw Banti in a comfort zone. I said, yes, this is the Banti that auditioned for this season of Nigerian Idols. Yes, she performed that song in a very, very unique way. And even though she improvised excellently, yes, because she improvised that song in the most beautiful way I have ever heard it. Yes, she improvised that song, but she did not read the song of its originality yes she retained the originality of that song her vocal texture was simply beautiful i loved all the beautiful twists and turns that she was doing with her voice vocal dexterity was on point what did i write i said that she came up with a rich vocal texture her, she, she she had this perfect vocal control guys i had never seen banty so comfortable when performing on nigerian idols this season as i said this was a comfort zone and it was not just a mediocre comfort zone no it was an excellent oh my god guys i feel like i've used the word excellent so many times on this video but that is the word yes that is the word i said that it was her best performance on this show ever yes and the, the interpretation of the song's message the song story guys she did that excellently I enjoyed every bit of it and I loved what she said she said that she had actually gone through the things that Asha said in that song so she could relate with the story of that song and that was, that was what aided her delivery of the song and this is also to say that see musical performances is like storytelling you're telling a story musically and Banti did that for me last night I was happy I was super proud of her and this in overall guys for the performances from all the top four contestants there was nothing i could complain about they all killed their performances it was as if they had been revived because last week they were boring yes if they were boring it felt as though they were all sleeping on stage but last night they were all revived they came back alive it was as if they were all over again awakened to the reality that hey this is a competition you need to fight for your sport. You need to fight to win the show. So finally, Faith and Itoha performed. Guys, you see, when Faith was performing, one prayer I kept on chanting in my heart was that someone, anybody, anybody that can, that can do the Lord's work, anybody that can do it, should just pick up Faith, yeah? Pick her up and help her fire this a musical talent this a music career to stardom to limelight 
she needs to be heard she has been heard she has been seen as she said you know um during um her emotional video yes but the world needs to hear the likes of faith faith has this raw talent it is beautiful it's not even just that raw it's refined she has attained the level of professionalism although she might not be able to win a show like nigerian idol season seven but trust me if someone puts that girl eh into this nigerian music industry eh trust me she's gonna go global just like tiwa savage is doing right now she's gonna go global she's gonna be a force to reckon with yes i mean you know what let me just say less let me say less now moving on to itoha it was at the point that itohan was performing that i started crying guys i cried so hard i cried so hard my eyes were red i cried guys i cried because come on i felt like itohan's eviction was very very unfair I will still say that again. Yes, I know a lot of you are going to say that, oh, it all boiled down to the voting, blah, 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 the fan base and all whatnot. Well, all well and good. I mean, this is not the end of the world for Itoha, but I am really, really proud of Itoha. Guys, you have no idea. I am so proud of Itoha. And I am more proud of her because she proved me right. She, she vindicated me. Because last season, Beyonce was doing all that at Serenade. The judges were stroking her ego. The judges were pampering her, saying that, oh, she's only 16. I've been 16. I've been Nibo. She's only this, that, 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 that. I said, I should go and sit down. There are people out there that are young and they are killing it at what they are doing. And then it all I came into the season of the show and she did not disappoint me. She vindic she, she, hey God, English fails me. She vindicated me, guys. She proved me right that there are people that are, you know, on the age of 16, 17, that are still good, that are still diligent in their craft. It's when I came, she made me proud. And the same prayer I prayed for Faith, I am praying the same prayer for Itoha, that her musical career does not die, that her talent does not die, that someone, a helper from God, anywhere, she just come out, you know, and help these two ladies push their music careers to stardom they need to be heard by the world i'm sure that they're gonna do great they will go global guys let's make a bet anyways this is where i'm gonna end this particular video i don't know about you guys but just go ahead let me know your thoughts in the comment section below yes um i don't know just just let me know what you think about the evictions also let me know what you think about the performances from our top four contestants and i'll see you guys on another episode of frankly speaking with gloria elijah have an amazing new week and hey Happy New Month! Hi, did I forget that? Happy New Month, yes. Welcome to the month of um, favor, prosperity, the month of blessings, the month of exceeding joy and pleasant surprises. Have an amazing new week. Bye.